Welcome into the Golden Eagle Spotlight interview. I'm your host, Brad Galley. Today I'm joined by cross country head coach Mike Nelson. Coach, thanks for being here. Thank you. We got the big meet coming up, the Big East Championships, and Marquette is hosting them. Right. How excited are you? We're very excited. This is a tremendous opportunity. Um, you know, who knows when we'll ever be able to host it again. I, I'll probably bid on it again, but, uh, but who knows? This is going to be great. You, you say bid on it. Were you an intricate part of bringing the Big East Championships to Marquette? Uh, when it boils down to, I, it was my idea to bring it in. Uh, we've had so many people uh, help get it here, but, but there, ha there had to be somebody right from the get-go leading the charge to get it, and it was my idea to bring it in here, my idea to take it down to UW Parkside, and uh, everything has, has come together. So uh, all that hard work uh, that started probably uh, two years ago is, is going to pay off this weekend. So Two years ago that started, three years ago you came to Marquette. Right. Is it home now for you? Or have you really finally said, hey, this is, this is Milwaukee, this is where I am now, I'm, I'm comfortable at Marquette? When I say home, I, I mean Milwaukee. Yeah, Marquette, definitely, definitely. I go back to where I'm from, obviously, to St. Louis to visit family and friends and things like that. But when I'm down there, I say, I'm going back home. I'm, go I'm going back to Milwaukee. Yeah, good stuff. Well, the player, uh, the, the runners, uh, I'm sure, are very excited for this weekend. We talked to a few of them uh, this week. They're looking uh, forward to the event, I'm sure. Has there been an added buzz, I guess, during stretching, during running and everything that you can tell that they're really excited to host such a big event like this? And, of course, it's championship season. Sure. I think there's uh, definitely a tremendous sense of excitement among them. I think they're really excited about it, having uh, you know, a lot of the Marquette community to come down there to watch them. Uh, they know, uh, they're ready to put on a show. They're, you know, they're, they're just excited. You know, for the most part, you know, you got friends and, and, and mainly just family, parents coming to a lot of the meets. Right. But now you're going to have uh, a lot of the, their Marquette friends who aren't athletes, uh, people from around the area, tons of alumni, uh, everybody. So it's, it's going to add just that little bit of uh, adrenaline to them and hopefully they run just a little bit better. Now one of those runners that I'm sure you're looking forward to seeing out there in the championship setting is Jane Grominski. She's done a phenomenal job in her time here at Marquette. I know you don't want to attribute a lot of her success to yourself, but how much of it is coaching and how much of it is it, is it her? Sure. Jane, uh, Jane has all the right tools. You know, she's got the, the, uh, the physical tools uh, and she's got it upstairs. And you've got to have both. Without both, uh, she wouldn't be doing as well as she has. Uh, coaching, um, you know, I, I've played maybe a, a, a very minor role, but in my opinion, uh, a good runner, uh, a tough-minded runner, they can for the most part, do it on their own. My job is to get Jane to the starting line, and that's from the from then on. It's it's up to her, you know, and that's that's what I tell all my athletes. Their success and failure ultimately is up to them. How much have you seen the program transform? I mean, the the runners and the quality of the runners that you have now, I think, is is higher than Marquette has ever seen. You've been here three years, as we mentioned, but how much have you seen it transform under your guidance in the th past three years? Uh, I, I don't know if I've seen too much of a transformation, and, and I, I don't know, to be honest with you, I wouldn't say that, that, that we're a lot better than we've ever been. Um, I, I feel like we have some, some great individuals right now that, that could compete with the best that Marquette has ever produced, but at the same time, we've had some very, very good runners here at Marquette throughout the years. Uh, the women's team did make it to the national championships every year from 2000 to 2005. Right. Uh, they had some excellent individuals back then. I feel like the teams now, uh, our women's team now definitely rivals those teams. Uh, I would put our women's team up against any of those teams. Uh, and, de and depending on the day, I don't know who exactly would come out on top, but uh, we'd give them a go. And on the men's side, we're, we're just, we're, we're very, very young. Uh, very young. No seniors, a couple juniors, and the rest are freshmen and sophomores. So, you know, the future definitely looks bright, uh, but at the same time, we're always cognizant of, um, you know, who have come before us here. And, and uh, we know there have been some great runners, and, and we want to make those runners proud this Saturday because I think most of them will be coming back to watch the conference meet. It'll be absolutely wonderful to catch all that action. Best of luck, Coach, and thank, thank you so you. much for joining us here on the Golden Eagle Spotlight Interviews. Be sure to check out this interview and all interviews at our site at MUTVSports.com. Thanks for tuning in.